The Welcome Dinner Project has been connecting migrants, refugees and international students with established Australians for two years now and it's all happening around the kitchen table. We see ourselves as one of the friendliest nations on earth, yet there are thousands of long-term visitors, new migrants and refugees who've never been invited into a typical Australian family home. Well, the Dinner Project is designed to change that. Fifteen people new to Australia have gathered at this Sydney inner city home for a dinner party and they're already learning more about the country, its people and their tastes. They are not in a good mood for spicy, so <laughs> it depends actually. The Dinner Project by NGO Joining the Dots is a simple idea that aims to break down barriers between established Australians and newly arrived people. Hardy arrived in Australia in 2013 as a refugee from Iran. Before the Dinner Project, he had never been invited into an Australian home. It helped me a lot, uh, actually, to s settle in Australia. The project started in Sydney homes, but as word got out, requests came in from all over the place, and thanks to the generosity and incredible efforts of volunteers and supporters, we have now launched in every capital city of Australia, and over 70 dinners have already taken place. This rapid growth shows that there is endless goodwill out there to create a different kind of story, one that represents the true Fair Go Australia. What's unique about this initiative is that we train volunteers who go along to every dinner and act as facilitators, creating a comfortable environment for everyone to be able to make meaningful connections. But of course, this project is about more than just a dinner. One of the best events I've ever actually gone to. We met so many people and we had a great time, ate a lot of food. Today I brought Gary and Kasavali. You know, we're chatting and we're getting to know each other and, you know, it made me feel welcome and it made me start feeling comfortable to, like, just be myself. You know what it was a straight bridge for me to do the people again? And I'm happy that people could come here and share with us their culture, their language, oh. their foods. But always, always remembering that the first Australians are here um, and we're happy to share. So I just want to welcome you all to, um, to Gadigal Land. Welcome to Wyanga Land, which is Mother Earth. Welcome to Australia. Um, and let's all walk together in harmony and in peace. I have been longing to be together oh, with people oh, yeah, from I'm different countries. It's one of my happiest days. Thank you. And this dinner really um, brings together people who probably already wanted to meet each other, couldn't find each other, but on such a beautiful personal level. If we have that sort of opportunity with one another and we can talk to each other, uh, try each other's food and know each other's culture better, I think we'll, we'll make a huge progress. The strength of the Welcome Dinner Project lies in its community-centred approach. It is non-political and firmly embedded in the belief that we can all be the change we want to see in the world. The Welcome Dinner Project is something all Australians can be proud of. And we need to grow this movement to reach our dream of a welcome dinner every day. Go to joiningthedots.org to find out how you can get involved.